How does a speaker cabinet's volume affect its sound? Great question from Rob in Australia, down under. Hi, Paul. How does your speaker cabinet volume affect the sound? Your Infinity RS5s, or I think he means IRS5s, are huge. But considering the amount of drivers, not so much. Also, does the shape of the cabinet have an effect? Well, if we look at the Infinity IRS5, which um, I will eventually trapes upstairs, and we'll go take a look at those here in, in, a, in a couple of days' worth of videos. I'm slowly working my way up. Um, first time back into the office for a long time, and it still is a little uncomfortable. So like I said yesterday, I, I'm, <laughs> I may just go back to being in my garden. But in any case, on the IRS-5, it's a, a, a dipole. So, um, I mean, if you take my... You like that? That's my dog coaster. <laughs> There's old Nipper. Um, so if we imagine that this sort of flat plate holds all the drivers for the IRS-5, and we just line them up on here, they come, the sound comes out the back, comes out the front, and it's a very thin, I mean, the whole speaker is only what? How big is it? I'm not very good at measuring. Two inches? Well, thicker than this. but. Um, the idea is the same. There is no box, right? Because it's, it's a dipole, and while sound comes out of both sides, there is no reason for the box, okay? So picture it as a panel making sound going front and back. Where we run into the box is in the woofers, okay? Now, and we should talk about this at some point, the open baffled speakers. People have asked me about those a lot, and maybe we'll, we'll touch on that a little bit. But the woofers are inside of a box, and this is where I think we get to the heart of the question, though I will circle back to the shape of the IRS-5 and how that affects sound. So on woofers, we'll just, just take a single woofer. We're going to put that into a box. Well, as the, as the woofer woofs, moves in and out, there's a front and a back wave. And just like in a dipole, the front and back waves, or the rear waves, are out of phase with each other. Now, in a tweeter, in a mid-range, the wavelengths are pretty short. And so it doesn't take a lot to block the back sound from coming and eliminating, because we know that two out-of-phase signals cancel each other, right? So it do, doesn't take much for those short wavelengths to not wrap around and cancel. Pretty easy. But a woofer, very different. Woofers, especially like what you find up in the IRS-5, they have very long wavelengths, 20, 30 feet long. So it's very difficult, if not impossible, to have a woofer in the room where Without a box, you have in phase, out of phase, long wavelengths that cancel each other. So when you put it into a box, we block the rear wave so that only the front wave comes out. <coughs> Excuse me. And we don't get any cancellation. Okay? That's why basically why we put it in a box. Now, the problems with boxes, of course, are that they're kind of fighting against the woofer. Um, it's a sealed enclosure or ported. In, a, in the case of the IRS, it's sealed. So that means no air gets out. And so the smaller the box, the less low the woofer can go before it starts rolling off and losing volume. The bigger the box for woofers, the deeper those woofers can go without any kind of problem. So a box, like the ultimate box would be this wall. So imagine I had woofers lined up on this wall and they went into the other room or even outside. I'm using that as an exaggeration. But when we do that, there's no back wave and there's no back pressure. So this woofer is just going just bang, done. That's a big, yeah, that other room behind here, that's a big box. But we don't normally do that, so we put them into smaller boxes. So the size of the box determines how low the woofer can go. 
And if it's a fairly small box and you want that woofer to go lower, what you can do is you can poke a hole in the box. That hole is called a port. And that port is usually maybe about this big and it can port out the back, it can port out the front. And that just uh, right at the point of, of, well, we're not going to get into box resonance, but right at the point where the, the box starts to get too small, it kind of opens it up and allows the woofer to go even deeper. And you get about 6 dB more output at a lower frequency than you would in just a sealed box. We can also do things like EQ the woofer so that as it starts rolling off, we can pump more power into there and then it'll go lower. We can add a passive radiator. Passive radiators look like speakers, but they have no motors, and they're basically just a port that's closed off, and it starts moving and vibrating at lower frequencies. So, yep, that's, that's what boxes do to affect sound. And last but not least, you talked about the, the shape of the cabinet. Well, that, that has, that's a whole nother ass Paul video that we'll get into if someone wants to ask me that because that that's a whole thing i mean edge diffraction flat panels versus rounded panels uh oh my gosh and that's something we should probably have uh, uh dr brunhaver chris brunhaver talk about but yep so great question thank you for asking i'll talk to you tomorrow bye